Hey folks, uh, today is cheap guitar day and you're probably saying to me, well, isn't that every day? Well, yes, uh, most of the videos I do um, in my secret series are of guitars that I've set up and I'm recommending uh, as a good deal. I'm going to bunch three together today with uh, differing results. Um, so here you go. Here is a sawtooth guitar. You may have seen these going fairly cheap. I've had these before, but not this sunburst one, which is actually a bit nicer than the natural one. It's got a, a spruce ply top, which is good. You can actually see the spruce grain. Uh, it's actually a very nice uh, looking guitar with the white binding. It's got the bare claw inlays, if you like that sort of thing. Headstock's a bit weird. Probably the weirdest thing about the guitar. It's very small, looks very crowded. Uh, it looks stubby, doesn't it? Um, but these are actually reasonable guitars. And again, um, these sell around 150. Um, occasionally you'll see sales of these going for less than 100. Um, lots of setup needed. So that's the uh, caveat I want to make sure that you know about. Um, this one here, fretwork. Always fretwork. Fret ends were sharp, a couple of uneven frets. Um, other than that, a slight adjustment on the action and a decent playing guitar. With this particular one, which is the STAD-VB, uh, um, something like that, I'll put it in the description. It's the Sunburst. Uh, it's one of three they make of this particular model. They make a red one and I think a green one. Um, the other ones are heavily lacquered and you can't see the grain. This one you can is more translucent. It's got a um, Tortoise shell style pick guard, probably not tortoise shell. Binding's decent, ABS binding, tuners seem fine. This thing actually plays really well. So this one I would say is uh, the best of the three that I'm going to show you today. And this is a sawtooth. And they're making lots of cheap instruments uh, right now. I, I, they're making classical guitars for like $45 shipped. Haven't tried one yet, but um, I mean, <laughs> It normally costs that much to ship a guitar, so I don't know how they do it, but um, uh, these have got little bare claw inla inlays, and these go as low as $80, something like that, on sale. You can pick them up, um, and it's cool. They come with a, a gig bag and a few goodies, so it's a really great deal. Um, I might get some more of these. these. These can be set up into nice guitars, decent wood. Um, you know, this, this, I mean, you can't really beat it for, for the price. Uh, again, Sunburst is not my thing, but a lot of people like it. So this is, this would be a good option for somebody that just wants to spend between 100 and 150 on a guitar, do a little bit of setup work. You got a nice little acoustic. Uh, I'd say second, going from good to bad, is this guy. You may have seen some of these. And this is made by Fever. F-E-V-E-R, and you've probably seen these on eBay, they're always going cheap. Again, they go for around the same price, you can pick them up really cheap, uh, under 100 or sometimes uh, around 120, 140, somewhere around there. This has got a quilt top, it's a, another sunburst with a quilt top, it's pretty, uh, but it's not solid maple, uh, plain maple top, it's a, it's a veneer, probably veneer of mahogany. Having said that, <laughs> yeah, it's veneered. Uh, so it, it has a maple veneer on top of probably mahogany or sapele. The back is much plainer than the sawtooth. So all of the uh, looks go into the front, uh, the top. It's a little bit heavy, probably because of the uh, uh, maple veneer on the top. Uh, it does have a rosewood board. It is bound. The headstock is more traditional, not as stubby as that uh, sawtooth one. Uh, and again, these just fine with a decent setup. And this one, the frets were a mess. Uh, I probably did about an hour on this guy. Um, action was a little bit uh, off, a little wide. I pulled the saddle down. I think I adjusted the truss right on this. Um, it's all normal stuff with these guitars. The thing about these guitars, the reason why they're, not, they're so cheap, is not because they're absolute crap. It's they don't spend any money 
on uh, customer service or quality control. So they just bang them out. So um, you don't get all the fine-tuned appointments that you do with, with big brand guitars, and you have to do setup on these things. But once you do, they're reasonable guitars. I mean, this guitar plays just fine. It's not buzzing anywhere, it plays off the neck. Not great tone, but um, you know it plays just fine. It's a great gu beginner guitar. So this is Fever, and this is a bit heavier than the Sawtooth. So it's a bit more lumber in this, and I think the wood's a little bit plainer on the back and sides. It's probably a cheaper cut of uh, it's a Pelea mahogany, maybe even birch. Um, it seems like they put all of their uh, design into this top, which is the uh, flamed uh, maple. Um, very traditional, everything else, rosewood uh, board and bridge, which is good. A lot of cheap guitars don't come with that, and the tuners are just fine. So this is the Fever um, D2085SB is the model number on that particular fella. And uh, the third one, this is a guitar I've seen so much on eBay and on Amazon, and they go really, really cheap, often under $100 ship so I've been wanting to uh, check one out this is a used one I picked up just for a few dollars it needed a lot of setup but it is an Artol A R T A L L Artol you've probably seen these um, this one is probably the worst of the bunch it's got this black matte finish that is just not very attractive it's not like one of those goth finished guitars from Epiphone or it's it's a, a very cheap flat black, easily scratches, um, and it's probably the, the worst of the three as far as sound. And it plays just fine, the neck is very chunky, it's a very tall C neck. Um, it's a lot chunkier than the other two, which is going to put some people off. It's fine for me, I've got big hands. It's got the same appointments, uh, Rosewood, uh, fretboard and bridge, they probably get all the parts at the same places, the bridges all look very similar, um, the, the tuners are probably all from the same factories, so they're similar, typical headstock shape, um, again, much more traditional than the, the sawtooth one, which is, looks to me like it's sawn off, maybe that's the point. Um, anyway, uh, this one here, uh, a little bit heavy, so definitely some play laminate going on there. Fine for a kid, fine for uh, uh, somebody to uh, learn on. Um, this probably would sound better if I took these cheap strings off and, and put some uh, uh, a nice set on there. I don't do that um, with these cheap ones that I'm blowing out because a lot of people buy them and just put their favorite brand on. So, um, you know, I get bulk strings, uh, these phosphor bronze things, and I just chuck them on these cheap guitars. They sound just fine. And if somebody wants to keep them and play them out, they can. If they want to replace them with their favorite brand, they can do that too. Um, these ones just happened to come with this guitar. It was a new set uh, that somebody just hadn't put on, so I threw them on. Um, and as I said, this one here is, uh, is the one I'm least impressed with. It plays, and it will be a, just a fine guitar. I just don't think it's quite as nicely made as the Sawtooth or even the Fever. Um, but I've been wanting to check out these Artols. Uh, they're a little rough. Uh, for instance, you can feel between the binding and, and, the, uh, and the neck, you could feel the seam with your thumb or your finger. Uh, it's a little rough. Uh, the paint job, I can see it bleeding onto the binding. The nut, the way it's put in, is a little bit rough. Um, you know, not a high attention to detail. So I would say that these uh, are probably the, the more bargain than the other two, a bit bargain bin I should say. But this is just one particular finish. I've also seen other Artol guitars, um, the natural sunburst, red, blue, different colors, different sizes. They might be better. This is the, the matte black one. Uh, makes an okay guitar. Somebody will dig it and, and play it and learn on it. Some kid will like this matte black. Um, for me, it just seems a little bit on the cheap side, but this guitar is going for as little as $75 shipped on eBay these days. So, I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, you, know, you can't really complain. Uh, I heard somebody say the other day, this is the age of cheap guitars. It is. It is. Um, 
setup is everything. I mean, even these guitars right here that a lot of uh, experienced players would turn their nose up at all three of these because they're not Fenders or Martins or Gibsons or Taylors. Um, but you know, if you want a second guitar, a camp guitar, uh, a beach guitar, a guitar to throw in your car, a guitar to leave on a stand in your living room that you're not worried about, um, any one of these with a good setup will do the job. You can play it, you can practice on it. That wasn't the case 20, 30 years ago. Cheap guitars were awful. I remember uh, um, my calluses bleeding because you just could, you just couldn't set the guitars up back in those days. They've re I mean they've really improved, um, you know, the dynamics of these things. I saw the other day uh, our friend uh, China Guitar Skeptic um, do one on the on the Glary Dreadnought, which he bought for forty five dollars shipped, and he set it up and played it. It was just fine. Uh, it didn't look great. It looks cheap. Um, I don't know if it'll last, but uh, for forty-five dollars shipped, and you just just learn a bit of setup, get the action right, get the, the neck, um, you know, uh, relief right, uh, get the frets nice and cleaned up. A lot of these guitars will play, and somebody can learn on them. It's just that when you buy them new right out the box, they're usually awful, and I can imagine a lot of these get sent back even at eighty dollars, seventy-five dollars, just because they don't play. So the person I got this from is lucky that I bought it and was able to do a setup on it because most people uh, would have sent it right back. The, the uh, action was really, really high, really tall saddle. The, the neck was bowed forward. So it was, you know, you could fit, you know, uh, uh, somebody's hand under the string. That's how high it was off the fretboard. But I've got it sorted out. Now it plays. <laughs> Got a guitar somebody can loan. I can plug this one off cheap uh, for some some kid that only has eighty, ninety dollars or something like that. Put a gig bag with it, and they got a guitar to learn with. So uh, there you go. There's three brands: Sawtooth, Fever, Artol. I did have a Stag uh, Wine Red guitar to add to this mix, but it just sold right before I was making the video. Uh, some kid came over and bought it. It was an electric acoustic. Uh, he got it for one twenty. I did a really good setup on it plays great, the electronics are fine. Um, he's thrilled. Um, you know, he said he'd been looking on Craigslist for a month and he's never seen an electric acoustic uh, um, advertised that low. So he jumped on it as soon as I listed it. Um, that's great. I love people like that. Um, and they're, they're really easy to deal with. So he got that and you don't get to see it on the video, but it was a lot like this guitar. It's like a wine red version of this with a gloss and then their own patented pickup on it. Played just fine, uh, did the same setup on it. So there you go, there's a bushel of cheap guitars and I'll be back with uh, more later. See ya.